So we've got a really exciting project for you today. Um, so we're going to be recovering this chair. Um, so we're going to be covering in this boot clay um, style fabrics, which I got from Minerva Crafts. Um, it was about £13 a metre. Um, so I've got two metres, but I think I've got way more than um, enough. But yeah, we're going to completely remove the cover. I need to pad this part out on the chair because I don't know if you can see, but it's quite thin. You can actually feel the frame underneath. Um, and then also we need to paint the frame as well, um, which I think I'm going to do in black. So let's get into it. So I've brought the chair out here, um, just because I've got a bit more workspace out here. Um, so first thing we're going to do is see if we can get this cover off. Um, probably just need to grab some tools, so I think I probably need like um, pliers maybe and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'll just grab some tools and then uh, let's see how we get on. So I've literally just undone all the um, the bolts. Um, so there was four in total. Yeah. So hopefully this means. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. This is going to make it so much easier to do. Right. Okay. So um, with the base, I am going to need to sand this down um, in order to paint it. But we can just pop that to one side for the moment. Right. So we need to. Uh, I can see why the front has caved in because it's only got these plastic um, like packaging. This is what they use on packaging. So no wonder the phone's dipped at the front. So I've got some um, proper upholstery wood in, so we'll use that um, to sort that a bit out. You know what, I am going to cut it because, yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to be putting this back on. We'll use this, obviously, for our template for the fabric, but we'll just pop that down on the floor first of all. I think we need to sort out this base because, yeah, this, can you see that? It's just packaging, packaging stuff, and this is obviously cut into the foam which then has meant the front of the seat has caved in because obviously, yeah, this stuff is quite sharp. Um, so yeah, so I've got some of this, which is proper upholstery um, webbing stuff. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use this to replace this plastic that's on here. Let's cut that plastic off to begin with. Right, so I've got a needle and I've got some sort of thicker than normal thread. So we're going to attach it with this. So let me show you. I've now um, done all the webbing on it, um, so it did take me a little while actually. I did show you how I did the first one. I have left some of the plastic in there, but I have made sure that I've got some proper webbing in there um, to make it nice and secure. The next step I did was cut out the old cover so we could use that as a template. So when I was cutting it out, I just followed all the original seam lines um, and that would give me my template that I needed. Um, so my fabric has got a little bit of a, a stretch in it, so I'm going to make sure that the stretch is going across the chair, um, just so it's hopefully going to make it a little bit easier um, to get it on. So my next step was to cut out the fabric, so I used the old cover which I'd already cut out um, as my template. So I've now cut out all my fabric. Um, I'm going to cut out the wadding because with the original cover, it's got wadding on the inside. Um, so 
I want to replicate that. The wadding that I've got is a bit thicker, so hopefully it'll give it a bit more volume and stuff. So yeah, let's uh, cut out all the wadding for all the bits and pieces that I've got here. So, right, let's get on with it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, base stitch the fabric onto the wadding and then it'll just make it a bit easier to sew it together when obviously I'm stitching them together. Um, so once I'd um, base stitched all the wadding onto the fabric um, I then obviously started sewing together the individual panels um, that form the seat and the back parts of the cushion. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So I've managed to do the back headrest cushion um, bit. I just need to put some more wadding inside it um, just to give it some extra oomph. Um, and then obviously I've finished the quilting of the back and the seat of the cushion. So they're all ready to be sewn together. And then I've been thinking that um, with the, because the fabric's got quite a bit of stretch in it, um, I'm going to put some sort of canvas type fabric um, underneath it just to sort of stabilise it. Um, so it doesn't like overstretch or anything like that or it, if it's stretched it could potentially move um, on the seat as well so just to give it a bit more sturdiness is to use um, some cotton canvas type fabric or something with no stretch that's quite sturdy. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do this in all of the places of the cover it's just more on the areas where it's quite likely to move um, that I'm going to do this. Um, so I've now sewn the front piece together, so I'm going to try and put the um, put the back on. Only thing is, I've put the Velcro on the back um, piece the wrong way around, so I've had to do an emergency order from Amazon to get um, some more Velcro. So hopefully that'll be here this today, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I sewed it on wrong, and it's because it's a, a sticky Velcro, um, I can't get it off. <laughs> even if I unstitch it. So yeah, I've just ordered some more. So hopefully that'll be here this evening. Um, but yeah, I can get the, sew the back on here and then it's just a case of sewing the sides down. So if that, obviously um, I'll get on and paint the frame um, whilst I'm waiting for that once I've finished off sewing what I can on here. So I've um, now just attached the um, bottom bit that where the access point is on the cover um, and I'm pretty much at the point where I can't really do anything more. So I'm going to get on and I'm going to clean up. I need to give the room a good clean because this stuff is just so fluffy. Um, so I'm going to give everything a good clean and then I can get on and paint the frame and then hopefully my Velcro will be here this evening. Um, and then I can obviously get that attached and then get it finished. And then yay, a little be done. So James has sanded it down my husband ready for me. So I'm just gonna go in with this furniture paint. So it's self-priming. Um, I think I got it from B&Q, but it's left over from a previous project. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get on and paint it with that. <laughs> Right, so I've now got my um, Velcro that I needed, that I emergency ordered. So we're gonna just stick that on. I um, can't remember where I showed you. So I have got, so it's just basically the back to sew on now. So all the front is done. 
like so. Um, the underneath bit there that goes over the front is done. Um, we have some reinforcement on some parts of the inside. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get the Velcro on here on the opening um, and then we're just gonna stitch up the sides and then yeah, we're pretty much done. Well, I say nearly finished. I've still got to put it on. But yeah, it's stitched together anyway. So let's turn it round. So we've got Velcro closure and that is the front. So yeah, let's get it on the face. See what it looks like. Um, so yeah, we're on to the really exciting bit now to attach the seat onto the actual frame. So I'm well looking forward to this because this is like the end to the finish. So um, let's get on with that. And here it is all finished. So it is finished. So pleased with how it's turned out. Um, I'm really glad I decided to do all the seam work like what was on the original cover. It just adds something extra to it. Um, and also I think it just adds a bit more stability to the fabric. Um, I think if I'd just done it as one whole piece here and here, then it would probably have quite a lot of movement in it. Really pleased with the color. Um, obviously I think most people have been doing it in the off-white color. Um, this bootle style fabric but because obviously we've got Cooper Dog um, and he likes to jump up on this chair so he can look out the window so I chose this more tanned colour um, which is a lot more practical and I'm really pleased with the black painted frames so yeah super pleased with it um, obviously this make was quite an involved make um, if you wanted to do something a bit more simple then you could probably do like a dining chair uh, which has got like a seat padding you could just recover that um, much more simpler project but yeah, that's just another idea that you could do if you wanted something simpler. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. If you have any questions at all, please do comment down below. And if you are liking this sort of content, then please do subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video.